So in this lecture we talk about cohomology of spaces. In particular, we want to talk about singular n cochains with coefficient in g. So these singular n cochains with coefficient in g are written like this. Yeah, this is nothing but the dual of singular chain group. So now you know that the singular chain group is built up of singular n simplices. Yeah, and these singular n simplices form the basis of singular chain group. So take an element phi of this singular n cochain with coefficient in g and this takes sigma which is a singular simplex belonging to, to the singular chain group to var phi of sigma which is the group. So since singular simplices form the basis of singular chain group we have the following equivalence yeah n cochains are precisely equal to the functions from singular n simplices to the group g yeah so this is clear because these singular n simplices form the basis of the singular chain group and if the functions are acting on them and they describe n cochains then it is clear that these n cochains are precisely the functions which act on these singular n simplices. Now we talk about the co-boundary map. So how do we go from one singular n cochain complex or chain group to another? So basically you take a map phi and it gets mapped to phi delta. This, is, this will be clear from a diagram which we draw now. So first we draw the singular chain group yeah so the chain complex associated with homology this we have drawn multiple times where cn cn plus 1 and cn minus 1 are the chain groups associated in the complex which are connected by the delta maps so you have delta here you have delta here so suppose this is the map phi and this is the map delta which maps phi to delta phi yeah so you see application of delta is nothing but first you go in the chain complex from cn plus 1 to cn and yeah so these two are both so this is nothing yeah this we have seen multiple times So you take this sigma and you apply delta phi to it which takes cn plus 1 to g. So what does it happen? So you know delta phi is equal to phi delta because the, that is the commutative triangle yeah, from cn plus 1 to cn to g. So you know the delta sigma we have done multiple times so that is precisely what delta sigma is. The only thing is that phi being a homomorphism these things come out that is the summations minus 1 to the power of i they filter out of phi and what we get is the following map for the co-boundary now once we have defined the co-boundary map our motive is to show that delta square is 0 yeah this 
follows trivially from other delta square being zero so you just either show the definition or uh, you can say that the two maps delta square which I drew dotted in the previous diagram they filter out of other two maps or come out of other two deltas in the homology chain complex and therefore since delta square is zero this delta square which is associated with the co-chain complex is also zero the beauty now is that we can actually define cohomology groups so first we write the co-chain complex And then we define the cohomology group standard way kernel of delta over image of delta. So this is the cohomology group and analogous to what we did in homology we say that elements of kernel of delta here are called co-cycles and elements of image of delta are called co-boundaries. So let us write this down. Okay, now let us recall universal coefficient theorem again. So, so you go from zero to the extension group, to the cohomology group, and to the dual of homology group. So we want to consider a special case of this short exact sequence or a split short exact sequence above so the first thing we notice here is which we will use again in the next slide if n is 0 then the x term is 0 yeah, the extension term is zero precisely because extension term is nothing but an H1. And if we are just in zero dimension, this H1 does not exist. Or you can see directly we will have H minus one, which does not make any sense here. So we get an isomorphism. Yeah, from cohomology group in zeroth dimension, to the dual of the zeroth homology group. So now we want to talk about reduced cohomology group. So analogous to reduced homology group, we write them with a tilde on top. So how do we define them? So first you start with the augmented chain complex precisely as we did in homology. So you add a z to it, integers and then zero. Now the idea is to dualize it. Yeah, because we are talking about cohomology groups, we have to dualize it. Once you dualize it, 
again take kernel of delta over image of delta and what you get is reduced homology groups. So precisely as in reduced homology we see for n greater than 0 there is absolutely no change. Yeah, so the reduced homology groups are same as the homology groups or I should say reduced cohomology groups are same as cohomology groups. So this is analogous to homology. So by universal coefficient theorem which we just showed on the previous slide we have the following equality yeah because we are in dimension 0 so for n greater than 0 the homology theory just carries over to cohomology theory and the difference arises in dimension 0 So now we want to talk about relative groups and long exact sequences of a pair. So first recall what we had in homology. We had the following inclusion map space A was contained within space X and we form the following chain complex of a pair. Since we are now in cohomology, we have to dualize what we have just written. Yeah, so let us dualize it. So the beauty of the argument is that even after you dualize it, the sequence is still exact. Yeah, so the details can be found in Hatcher, but uh, that is the point. So basically now we have gotten a chain complex to ourselves. And as we have seen before, you give a chain complex and the best thing to do is to derive a long exact sequence out of it. So this is the corresponding chain complex or I should say co-chain complex and this will give us long exact sequence of cohomology groups yeah so the only difference is the index in, in, instead of decreasing is increasing. So there is a map J star here. I star here. These are just induced from the chain map above. And then we increase index by 1. Yeah, because this is precisely for the reason that the arrows in the co-chain complex are reversed compared to the chain complex. and so on the chain extends. So in analogy with long exact sequence of homology, I put a delta here in red so as to distinguish it from the co-boundary map. 